This is a video tutorial of how to install the Wireshark Network Protocol Analyzer on a USB drive such as the Patriot Exporter XT Boost Series. First of all you go to Wireshark.org and then you click on Download Wireshark. First it will highlight the installer that's useful for your current operating system but what we want to do is click on Windows Portable Apps 32-bit right here and I'm going to save it. When that's done we'll continue. After downloading the Wireshark Portable installer I started it. So I'm going to press Next. As you can see here it normally comes up like that but I've pre-entered F, which I know is the drive letter of my USB flash drive. So I'm going to go ahead and hit install. And what it's going to do is install Wireshark Portable on my USB flash drive. As you can see, it's now complete. So I'm going to click on finish. And Wireshark Portable can be run from any Windows machine with a late enough operating system. You don't have to have WinPCAP actually installed. It has a special version of WinPCAP. Running Wireshark Portable is very easy. First locate your USB flash drive, locate the Wireshark Portable folder, and then double click on Wireshark Portable.exe. On Windows 7 you may have to right click and do Run as Administrator. And As you can see it begins to start up Wireshark. And we're ready to go. We can capture packets right away. I happen to know that this is our interface for most network activity on this computer. So as you can see, there it goes. It's immediately capturing data. A bunch of stuff from the switches. So I'll hit stop. You can actually see the information right there. Now this is running off of the actual USB drive itself. I can close it like that. And the application is stored down in here. and the data is here. So what I n next want to demonstrate is how to hook in Wireshark Portable to NetScan Tools Pro so that you can launch Wireshark Portable from NetScan Tools Pro. In order to hook NetScan Tools Pro USB version into Wireshark Portable, you first have to locate and start NetScan Tools Pro USB version off the same USB drive. As you can see, it's in this directory and Wireshark's in this directory. So I'm going to start NetScan Tools Pro. It asks me if I want to use the previous database, and I say yes. The first thing you're going to want to do is go down to External Tools, click on Wireshark Launcher, select Launch Wireshark. I've already navigated to the F drive and to the correct folder and now I'm going to click on Wireshark Portable and select Open. It's going to save this relative path on the USB drive but without the drive letter. So now Wireshark opens and it's ready to go. And I'm just going to close it right now and go back to launch Wireshark. This time it directly opens it without asking for the navigation. If at any point you need to clear the relative path to Wireshark Portable.exe on your USB drive, simply press this button. So you can get Wireshark by visiting the Wireshark.org website. And this is how to hook it into NetScan Tools Pro so that NetScan Tools Pro can quickly launch Wireshark from your USB drive.